little recap on business startup, what you need to know, business startup. Right? It doesn't matter if your business is already started, right? Businesses actually go through a stage of the starting the business, then it goes to a growth stage, then there's a sustaining that growth. So businesses actually go through three, three stages because a business actually is an entity. It's a, it's a living being on its own. It should outlive even the founders and the key drivers. And for it to do so, you need to recognize those three distinct stages. There's a startup phase, then there's the growth phase, and then there's the phase of you, how, how to sustain that growth, right? So you, you don't kill the business beyond the founders or the startup or begin to lose your growth and the business die. So really starting a business is the easy part. Very easy to start a business. Building that business and sustaining it as it grows, that is the real work. So starting a business is easy. Building that business as it grows, that is where the real work is. So here are some tips in guiding you in a business startup or whether you're on the growth stage or on the sustaining stage. You must be clear on what business exactly you are going into. You must be very clear as to what business exactly you are going into. And this is important uh, because a business is nothing more than a solution to a problem. So what problem exactly do you have a solution for? That solution that you have to a problem that you are converting into a business does not have to be completely a new problem. However, your solution to even an existing problem that another business may already be solving will have to be innovative for you to have a different business. And I dare say there's really nothing new under the sun. What everybody takes is they take what exists, they find what gap there is in the needs of the problems out there, then they come up with another solution or a different style or method of solving that solution. So the first clear distinction is to be clear on what business exactly you are going into. Second key thing is you have to distinguish between trading and entrepreneurship. You see, people, people just use a generic word business, but the reality is trading, while trading is business, it's completely different from entrepreneurship. Trading, which is what the, most of us do, and we'll say we're in business, while that is fine, it's completely different from entrepreneurship. Someone who is in business trading basically just provides whatever is in need at that time or whatever they're able to come up with and provide uh, a solution so forth. So for example, if I'm a trader and I see there's demand for iPhone and I began to sell iPhone, all I'm doing is trading. The moment there's no longer demand for iPhone and the demand suddenly is for jewelry and move into jewelry. Then after a while, again, there's no demand for jewelry and uh, demand is for cryptocurrency. I begin to trade cryptocurrency. So you are in business, but you are just a trader. There's no distinct, unique uh, solution that you are driving. And the principal motivation for a trader who is a business is just the money. It's just the money. So anything that brings money, you do it. You are, you are in business, but you are basically just a trader. An entrepreneur, on the other hand, differs. An entrepreneur is, cons is intentional in finding a solution to a problem. Then finding those who have that problem in sufficient number with the capacity to pay, right? And they provide their solution, then they get paid. And over time, they make money. But money is not the principal motivation for an entrepreneur. That's why entrepreneurship is actually a longer journey. And entrepreneurship is not for everyone because it involves capacity and ability to take risks and to withstand a lot of shock to, to be an entrepreneur. But you can be a trader and you're in business. So you need to declare what, which of them exactly is this your business about. Then three, I'll just run through some critical success factors that are important for you to succeed in business. So other key factors in, that you need to consider in starting on your business or even your already 
in business and you are at the growth stage or sustaining stage is focus is key. It's important to be focused. So in business, it's important to be focused. I come across several people, they're into diesel supply. They're also selling frozen chicken and frozen fish. Those same people are also selling computer software. I mean, look at the, the wide diversity. Now, I'm not likely to know you for anything or call you for any of those three things. Because the reality is, I mean, why should I be patronizing for computer software? You are the same person set, trying to sell diesel to me or frozen fish or frozen chicken, right? So again, that's more of a trader than a, a business that is there to, to try. So you must be focused. When one line of business that you have engaged in is doing well and running independently, you can start another one. But even that is best to start it under a different brand name. If you know, for example, we started Resource Intermediaries Limited about 15 years ago. Now, it took almost 10 years before we went into another line of business, the, the Bunker Co-work Facilities. 10 years after we started, I'm saying 10 years, actually 12 years. So by those 12 years, Resource Intermediaries was doing very well, had a structure, had business drivers that could run completely independent of me. Then we started the Bunker Co-work Facilities. Again, three years after that, taking advantage of COVID and the, the needs we saw, we went into delivery service and started Nimbler delivery services within Lagos only for now. Also realizing that most capacity building and training has gone virtual. One of our strong areas being soft skills training. We also established an e-learning platform called Sabina, right, for our trainings online. So, that is focused. And you can see each of those businesses have distinct names. It's not resource intermediaries co-works facility. It's not resource intermediaries delivery service. It's not resource intermediaries uh, e-learning platform. If we had done that, all the four will begin to collapse because people will be confused. You are HR consultants. What's this co-work space office renting? What is it about you doing delivery service and delivering gifts and food all over Lagos. What is it about you doing e-learning? So you must be, be key, be focused. Then keep your cost low. Keep your cost low. What kills businesses usually, it's not just the fact that they're not getting enough customers. For most businesses, their costs are, are high. And for as much as possible, avoid credit sales, except uh, the capacity of those who are doing credit sales to is good and assured, and the time for the credit does not also enjoy your capacity to continue to restore. Then recognize this distinction between cash flow and profit. Most people give up on businesses if they're not seeing the profit on time. No, what is key is cash flow. So once cash is coming, and that cash that is coming is growing month on month, just stay there. Eventually it will translate into profit. Cash is more important than profitability because you could be making profit and, and most of your sales again are on credit or they are bad sales and that so-called profit will just be paper profit eventually you will implode so but you must make sure that whatever business you are in people are buying and paying for your solution and the number of people that are buying are growing or the, the volume of what they are buying is also growing Next key factor for business success is to uh, recognize that you can't know everything. So if you're a business owner or business driver, please, no matter your degree or your experience or exposure, you need to develop good people skills so that ideas can flow within your business. You can't know everything. So don't assume that you'll ever know everything. If you don't have such people skills that allows feedback from your staff, no matter how low they are in the organization, that business will eventually begin to die. Then whatever is not measured never gets done. So set smart goals for your business. Goals in terms of volume of sales, number of customer growth, and, and then once you get the customers, you set other targets of how, how much more sales you want to get per customer and begin to recognize who are your top five customers and the likes. These are critical key success fact factors. And finally, in this brief on business is you need to expand your networking. 
your network. You need to invest in networking. Business at the end of the day is personal. Business is man, no man. And that's the reality. So the more people you know, the more people that are likely to be referring your business to other people or patronizing you. So I'm, I'm originally what you would call an introvert, pretty shy. But when I discovered this fact, I've grown my network, I'm more impactful and my influence has grown because I invested in networking. You are part of my network, for example. Some of you only got to know me and me, you through this platform. And through you that I know, I have access to your own network and vice versa. That's what networking uh, does. So that in a nutshell are some business tips just to answer various questions that some of you put down in your form.